Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, I am so excited to be sharing with you guys my mini master bedroom makeover. Just a little update and a refresh. I've included a really fun and inexpensive DIY that you guys can do too if you have some old lamps that you are looking to update. And I'm also gonna share with you all the new home decor and things that I got in the bedroom as well. But before we get into it, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. My name is Meredith. I make lots of lifestyle, clean and homemaking videos and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it now let's go ahead and get into those before clips so you guys can see what we're working with all right friends so here are some before clips of what my bedroom looked like this is from my fall decorate with me so everything's a little bit decorated for fall in these clips the color of the lamps in my bedroom were just not working for me I don't have any wall art on the wall and after I undecorated from my seasonal decor I didn't know what to put on this dresser so I just really needed some neutral things that worked for all seasons and once I took pretty much everything out of here this is what I was working with I love the curtains that I picked for this room I think they are so beautiful and feminine but I needed some wall art some new bedding and those lamps desperately needed an update so in just a second you guys are gonna see that DIY I'm also gonna share with you my plans for this other half of the room I have been going back and forth with a couple of options and I'll share that with you at the end of the video but let's get on to that lamp DIY because I am sure that if you are like me you know that lamps cost a lot of money and you're not willing to spend it. I always go for a budget-friendly DIY or any affordable option if I can. Ginger jar lamps have been making a huge comeback. If you're really into home decor, then you've probably seen them everywhere. And this was really popular back in the 80s. And like most things, they always come back in style. But the color of these lamps were just not working for me. In some lighting, it looks green. Some lighting, it looks like a taupe color. So I knew that I needed to get new ones, but $80 is probably what it would have cost to buy two brand new bedroom lamps instead this entire project was 16 bucks yes you heard that right two new lamps for $16 so the first thing that I did was tape off the top and the cord of the lamp just so I wouldn't get any spray paint on it and then I needed four cans of spray paint total for this entire project each can of spray paint was four dollars so that makes the project a total of 16 bucks pretty good so the first coat I did was primer and I made sure because this is a ceramic lamp um, to prime it first because I wanted a very glossy paint you could always go the chalk paint or matte option if that's the look that you like but I think for a ceramic lamp it really needs to look glossy and so I got a glossy paint to put on after I primed it so that's the coat I'm putting on now it's just a plain white glossy paint and then after I did the glossy paint I put a ceramic coating on the top and I will link all of the products that I use down below because they all worked amazingly including this spray paint uh, spray paint like sprayer handle thing I had never used one before but guys it is life-changing if you do any spray painting or DIY projects you have to get this sprayer it made my life so much easier but the glossy coat I think is really what did it and all of these paints are by Rust-Oleum so they are really really reliable and definitely made for these projects I only filmed me doing one of the lamps here on camera but I did do the other one off camera and you guys are gonna see towards the end of the video how they look in the space I I am pretty much obsessed. So now we're gonna move on to the decorating part and I stripped my bed and cleaned all the sheets and I put away all the old bedding. I didn't get rid of it, but I definitely knew that I needed some new bedding in here. I had had the same duvet cover on my duvet for a very long time and I just needed something that felt a little bit more soft and feminine. So I'm just gonna start by putting the mattress pad back on the mattress and then I'm gonna put the sheets on the bed afterwards and I will be sure to link everything that I can in the description box, including the sheets I'm about to put on they are from Amazon and they are amazing and super soft. We are and the way we lose it. There's something different about us. And the reason why we stay. Stay. We fly around like paper planes. They never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us. Still they wanna tear us apart. 
heart There's something different about the way we are Now we're gonna put the duvet cover on my duvet and this duvet cover set is from Target. I will link it because I was not able to find it in my store, I did have to buy it online. It is for a full slash queen size bed but they also make one for a king. And what I like about this one is it came with the duvet cover and the two pillow shams. It also came with this super cute decorative pillow but I just didn't think it worked well in this space. I'm gonna use it in a different room in the house. But I like this duvet cover because it's not just plain white, it does have a little bit of decoration on it the ruffles I feel like make it super feminine and really cozy and this duvet that I am using is from Ikea you can pretty much use any duvet if you already have one and just buy covers for it I will say that the duvet is slightly small for the cover I feel like the cover is a true queen size my duvet is just slightly too small so just be aware if you have um, a queen size bed you might want to get a actual queen size duvet and now I'm putting the shams on the pillows and these were the two shams that I had on before and they are also from Ikea. That duvet set is super cute. It just really didn't go anymore, especially with the pattern on the curtains. I wanted something that was a little bit more neutral. There's something different about the way we are. things to add to my bed the two new pillows were gifted to me by downlight and I will include them in my description box if I can they were so kind to send these to me and I've actually been loving them they're a medium firmness and they are super super comfortable to lay on at night and then the two throw pillows here that I'm putting on are from Target the cream colored one and the one with the tassels I'll link them if I can and I just love mixing different textures and colors together like this I think it looks so beautiful it doesn't even make sense why I think about you It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I'm just gonna wipe down these bedside tables just cause they had a little bit of dust on them. And then I can finally plug in the brand new lamps. And y'all, I am so impressed with how these lamps turned out. I feel like they look as though I just bought them from the store. And trust me when I say these lamps would be easily 40 or $50 a piece if I had bought them from Home Goods or pretty much anywhere. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments how you like them, if this is your style. I just think that for ginger jars, this is such a good price. 16 bucks for two lamps you really can't beat it then let these feelings slide so I'm gonna dive dive into you it doesn't even make sense all right so now I'm moving on to the dresser and this was the hardest part for me to decorate you guys are gonna have to let me know your opinion on the lamp here should I leave it as it is should I put it back in the music studio downstairs where it came from or do you guys think I should paint it I really kind of feel like I'm leaning a little bit more towards painting it just because I have some leftover paint from the other two lamps that I did and I feel like I could update this one for basically nothing but you guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments and then and everything else that I'm putting here on the dresser is either something I've owned for a while or brand new this little milk jug here I got from Hobby Lobby as well as the eucalyptus stem and then I had a 40% off coupon when I went the other day so I splurged on a antique clock and y'all I'm so obsessed with how this looks I think it is so beautiful so I put those in the tray here along with a Bath and Body Works candle just to kind of complete the look you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think down below I'm 
I'm gonna add a few more finishing touches to the bedside tables just to complete the look. I wanted a little bit of hand cream and a place for me to put some of my jewelry on this side. And then on the other side, I just have a few books that I wanted to stack up. I really don't know what else I wanna put on these bedside tables, but I feel like for right now, this does the job. Jack helped me hang up a couple of pieces of artwork that I got from Hobby Lobby and there are probably some other spaces in the room that I could hang some wall art but I wanted to take it a little bit at a time just because the roof lines in this room were very tricky and it makes decorating on the wall hard especially the wall behind my bed this area was not too hard to kind of figure out what I wanted but I didn't know what I wanted to do here there's Josie again <laughs> stealing the show but I didn't know whether I wanted to put shelves back here or if at one point I had like a fake tree back there but I decided just to go for it and hang up a painting I think it looks really good and then this one I had already had from my old apartment but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up the space now that everything is decorated and while I do that let me share with you guys my plans for this half of the room so where the chair is I want to put a giant floor length mirror for a while I was thinking I was gonna do a vanity in this space but it doesn't make a lot of sense because I am pretty sure renovating my upstairs bathroom is pretty imminent and I'm not gonna need a vanity once that bathroom is completely renovated. So I want to use the space a little bit better. I need more space to store clothes so I can finally get my clothes in one room. I'm really tired of having my clothes in multiple closets in the house so I would love to be able to put them all in drawers. Getting another dresser or chest of drawers is a big priority for that. So a full length mirror and another dresser over there I think would make the space feel more more like a dressing area. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments, what you think I should do with the space. I just feel like I wouldn't use a vanity very much, especially if my bathroom up here was fully renovated. But now I'm gonna walk you guys through all of the decor pieces and the transformation and show you guys everything. And please let me know down in the comments what y'all think. I really love the way that this turned out and you'll have to let me know what you think I should do with that lamp because I'm still not completely decided on what I wanna do with it. But the dresser area just feels very simple and more complete. And this whole room gives me very soft, cozy, feminine vibes. And I really do love how it's a good mixture of farmhouse, a little bit of glam. I do think that changing those lamps from kind of like a taupe color to white just really adds an extra pop in here against the bedside tables. I just really love the way that it looks. The new, the new duvet has so much texture on it. It looks really soft and cozy. So I'm gonna walk you guys through all the little details and you'll have to let me know in the comments what you guys think. so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you lots of inspiration for some DIYs or ways that you can decorate your bedroom or really any space in your home. I love making these kinds of videos for y'all. So please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing before you go. I would love to have you and I will see you guys again real soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. You could see yourself just sitting there